Hey everybody, it's Miss Amy from the Exeter Public Library and today I thought I would share a craft with you. Um, it's called a touch and feel book and it's a wonderful sensory activity to share with your child. Um, so the one I'm using is uh, one that I downloaded and I will put the link in the description. So it has um, caterpillars are fuzzy and feathers are tickly and sand is rough. So I went around my house and just grabbed some things that shared those textures. So you could take your child around the house and see what things they like to feel. So for the feathery is feathers are tickly, I just grabbed a feather. So I have my glue gun and you can take the page and just glue the feather onto the page. And it's okay if things stick out of the book, it doesn't matter which direction they go into, but um, you start to assemble your book. So lambs are soft. I grabbed some cotton balls. So you can use whatever is around your house that has texture. And this will provide some sensory stimulation for your child as they go through it. You could read the book together or they could just feel the different textures and try to describe what they are. So lambs are soft. I also had a shell. Shells are bumpy. So those provide some nice texture when you feel them. So it's along the same lines of the um, you know picture books that have uh, textures within them that kids can touch as you read them. So shells are bumpy. I used a pipe cleaner for caterpillars are fuzzy. You could also use a piece of yarn or a piece of fabric. There we go. And then the last one says sand is rough. So I grabbed just a little square of sandpaper to add a harder texture to this page. So just glue that down. And if you don't use the downloaded format, you could just put pages. I used cardstock just so it stands up a bit better. You could laminate the pages after you glue things on them. Um, but the words are nice and the pictures are nice, but they're not necessary. You could literally just take pieces of cardboard and put different textures on them so that your child can just kind of feel through and feel that stimulation of the different sensations. So this came with a cover. It says my touch and feel book. So I'm just going to put it together. Now, obviously it's not going to lay flat because there are shells and cotton balls, but just do your best. And then I took just some pipe cleaners that I was going to use to just create a bit of a binding here. You could also use those metal clips that they have, but I didn't have any. So I like to do crafts with what I have in the house. Almost done. So you just put this on your child. It can help you assemble it. Obviously, be careful with the hot glue gun. But here you go, a touch and feel book that you can give to your child for some sensory stimulation. All right. I hope you enjoyed this craft, and I hope you take take a stab at making one because it was really fun, and I had tons more ideas. So you could make this as big or as small as you wanted. All right. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.